At Kelly Blue Book, we love cars that are disruptive. I happen to think I have one here right behind me. This is the all new Hyundai Santa Cruz. I'm about to drive it for the first time and tell you what I think. First things first, Hyundai is going out of their way to not call the Santa Cruz a truck. But in all honesty, it's probably going to be compared that way, so... Hyundai's branding the Santa Cruz as a sport adventure vehicle. Because it rides on the same platform as the Tucson, I say this is unabashedly an SUV with pickup utility. So when you get into the cab, you really notice the tech in here. These screens are big, both the digital gauge cluster and the infotainment touchscreen. The graphics are great. They're really easy to see. And you know what? I really like things that are easy to see. Speaking of visibility, seeing out of the Santa Cruz is a little tough. That C pillar is pretty thick when I look over my shoulder. Good thing there are good safety features offered. One bummer note about the interior, no volume knob, Arrg. When it comes to the ride, if you're one of those people who drives an SUV but has been yearning for the utility of a truck bed, just doesn't like the way that a truck drives, then this experience is going to be very delightful for you. You know what else is delightful? Subscribing to the KVB YouTube channel. The ride quality is exactly what you would expect. It's comfortable, it's compliant, it's not too sporty, it's not too firm. I mean, if this were the three bears, we'd be very happy. There is no truck-esque jingle jangle underneath you. On the road, you know what? You don't even remember there's a truck bed back there. The seats are great. I'm really comfortable. In fact, the whole experience in the cabin is pretty superb. It's nice and quiet. You don't really hear a lot of the road. You don't hear the engine. Wind noise is kind of at a minimal. You know, I, like I said, I mean, this just definitely drives like an SUV. Around turns, again, this is familiar territory because of the Tucson. The Santa Cruz behaves very well. The steering feels precise, if a bit overly electronically assisted. And there is a modicum of body roll, but it feels stable and smooth around even some sharp stuff. All around, the Santa Cruz is a fun driver. The Santa Cruz gets the choice of two engines. The standard is a 191 horsepower, 2.5 liter four cylinder that uses an eight speed automatic transmission. The Santa Cruz that I'm driving has a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine in it. It makes 281 horsepower, 311 pound feet of torque, which gives you plenty of giddy up. I mean, this little thing does not feel underpowered at all. There's a little bit of turbo lag, not too bad, but that torque number is really impressive. And when it's set up and equipped properly, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. The 2.5 turbo is only available with all wheel drive and that will help you with traction either on dirt roads or in some shady weather. That engine also gets an eight speed dual clutch transmission that's a smooth operator. I feel like the ratios are well placed and I think it actually works really well with the engine. This is a really well put together powertrain, certainly not gonna get any complaints out of me. If for some reason you do want to downshift a little bit, it comes with paddle shifters, you have that option. You can also opt to shift manually through the shifter. Pricing on the Santa Cruz starts at $23,990. That's for a front wheel drive Santa Cruz SE, powered by the naturally aspirated 2.5 liter. SEL and SEL activity versions of the front wheel drive Santa Cruz start at $27,190 and $30,460 respectively. You can get all wheel drive on the SE, SEL, and SEL activity for an extra $1,500. The SEL Premium and the Limited, both that come with that turbocharged engine, will cost you a bit more. 
To me, the best purpose for this truck is really going to be loading up all of your gear and getting you to your adventure. So this in and of itself is probably not going to be a big adventure vehicle, meaning you're not gonna go out and rock crawl on the Rubicon Trail. But you know what? Most customers who are looking at something like this, they're not interested in doing that anyway. But put this on smaller wheels, bigger knobbier tires, and maybe even some aftermarket lights, and you'll have yourself a super rad rig. So the biggest thing that the Santa Cruz has going for it is its size. This thing is really tiny. And I say that like as a compliment. Yes, there is only a four and a half foot bed back there, but there is a tremendous amount of utility that's crammed into it. And at the same time that you are gonna be able to take all your stuff with you, you're still gonna be very agile and very maneuverable. You are not gonna be spending all your time looking for a parking spot that you can fit into. So, is it a truck? Is it a sport adventure vehicle? Ah, is a hot dog a sandwich? Let's go back to that four and a half foot bed. It gets a ton of underfloor storage with drain plugs, a retractable locking tonneau cover, tie downs, an adjustable tailgate, a cleat system, corner steps to get you in and out, and spots molded into the bed so you can create a shelf in here for even more storage. It might not be as long as the bed on a Toyota Tacoma or Nissan Frontier, or even newcomer compact Ford Maverick, but this one is a hard worker. Hyundai's SmartSense suite of safety features comes standard. That includes forward collision assist and lane keep and lane following assist. And good news, that lane keeping assist and lane following assist from Kia and Hyundai is, in my opinion, one of the best in the industry, especially in this segment. It's really smooth, it's very intuitive. You can see how it works here. It doesn't yank you over like a bad driving instructor. It really kind of keeps you in between the lines, even on a nice quick turn. It's a great system. Gas mileage numbers on the Santa Cruz are here, except for the front wheel drive numbers for the 2.5 liter turbo, which we don't have quite yet. There's gonna be a lot of interest in this little vehicle and a lot to talk about. This thing is chock full of tech and really functional features. Stay tuned if you wanna hear more. And yeah, I can't say keep on trucking, but I can say keep on sport adventure vehicling.